The impact of electrical engineering is huge. In the morning when you wake up, the sound of the alarm clock, you turn on the light, you take something out from the refrigerator, you go sit in a car, you drive to work, you work on a computer, if you're watching a TV, playing your Xbox, the impact is huge in the life of a person anywhere in the world. My name is Sadeep Shaker and I'm an assistant professor at the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. The program encompasses courses like uh, circuit design, optics, computer design, programming. I kind of always tinkered with uh, electronics from a young age. You really get to choose a lot of the courses that you get to take. I'm really interested in electronics, so I get to take a whole bunch of courses that really kind of are suited to my interests. I'm Ruben, and I'm a third year electrical engineering student. Like every year in electrical engineering, I'm working in um, project uh, that's for Capstone this year and the project is for a uh, new generation of ultrasounds is hopefully going to allow more people to get checked and it's going to be uh, cheaper than the commercial ultrasounds. Hi, I'm Ezra. I'm a fourth year electrical engineering, nanotechnology and microsystems. I actually didn't know that I wanted to do electrical engineering, but after I started first year, I started realizing the opportunity and the other different majors in electrical and computer engineering. I don't like it, I actually love it. The majority of the courses have a lab component or a project component, and this is where there are much more chances of a one-to-one -one interaction. And that's where we get often the feedback from the students that they learned quite a bit. My research is basically focused on silicon photonics. Silicon photonics is a new emerging field. It's where you take light and electricity and merge it together. So my input would be a light and I would give you an electrical output. I'm Spooti, I'm doing my master's in electrical engineering. UBC focuses a lot on research. So the lab that you see around me, here we do a lot of experiments in photonics. So here, the students literally play with light every day, trying to see how efficiently we can communicate from one end to another using light, or do sensor experiments. The family here in ECE, they're very friend friendly, and the professors really want to involve undergrad students in their research. In electrical engineering, because you have a, a range of topics to learn, that would help you open up to what you really want to do in your life. There's so many different interests among people in the program. You have people who are really interested in power systems, you have people who are really interested in uh, um, semiconductors, and nanotechnology, and biomedical. You learn quite a lot of things. It's a, it's a diverse range of topics that you have to master but then you also have a lot of opportunities to apply them to a diverse range of fields. For electrical engineering, students are never limited to any um, specific si sort of job. Electrical engineers can still work in computer engineering and computing. Um, they can work in business, so they're never limited. The thing I love about electrical engineering is, is the breadth. As an electrical engineer, you're not doing the same thing day in and out. You use your mathematics, you use computer programming, you use the uh, skills that you've learned and acquired in the lab. And you're constantly learning and applying. So there's always excitement, there's always challenges. There's really something for everyone in this program. 